Hi everyone. Today we have Mohammad Kamran, uh, who is uh, looking for a DevOps and cloud engineer role, and he wants to practice with a mock exam, mock interview kind of setup. What we will try is we'll go through certain questions in this process. Like we'll go through some questions. It is great if you are able to answer, but I will try to help you give you at least some appropriate answer where as wherever it is possible. So if you can brief us a little bit, like what sort of DevOps and cloud experience you have, what experience you have in the IT industry so far, and based on that, we can uh, take it from there. Okay, basically, I don't have any experience with the cloud roles. Uh, basically, I'm working since more than three years in the technical product supports. Uh, it's again fair transactions work. Uh, you, for an example, that let's suppose you are the users, you reach on the airline website once you click on the payment page and you have uh, the balance has been deducted from your account, but you haven't received any confirmations from the system. That's a non-IT non stuff, right? That's entirely... Uh, green field transactions related to a technical because okay. then we check, we receive the ticket from the client and tracker, then we check why it's happened. Uh, this is actual the issue from the server sense that why the user did not receive any email confirmations because we have charged okay. and customers completely made the bookings from his side. Then we check what actually happened. So might be a possible customer select the same seats for the flights, but at the same time, just because of the nanosecond, another person purchased that seat. This is why the, that who first- so Do you look at the application purchase. logs or something like that or? Yeah, um, we have a client hub tools. Okay where we access all the servers, uh, servers region A, region B, region C, we check all the payment issues regarding. Mm -hmm. And sometimes uh, why it happens, sometimes customer does not grab the good opportunity and he's charging her twice, why it's charging her twice, every time he's making a booking and he's charging her twice. So why it's happening with the customer store. Okay, this is one scenario where you look at logs and uh, try to rectify yes. the issue. Yes. Yes, but I would we still call all it those less, and... less of non-technical because, uh, be, uh, like I will call it a bit of non-technical role because you are dealing with customers and you are. No, no, I am not interacting with the customers. We receive the tracker from the client. So, which which support level do you fall into? Is it level one, two, three? It's a uh, level two. Okay, so you, that means any application specific things, there is still a level three available. Yes. Yes. Uh, level three is we have a DevOps uh, support team. If we are unable to find any information, because what happens in actually, if you are working as a DevOps engineer, then you run the jobs and all the refunds or the payments automatically run on the specific time. But sometimes DevOps does not completely work. You can say that it doesn't work 100%. Right. You can see it's working, but it doesn't work 100%. Right. Then we work in this situation. Any software you expect that, you know, uh, because it's it's not, it's financial related, but still not mission critical that if certain transactions don't go through, uh, especially repayment, maybe they will reach out next day and you can run it again. So no, what, made, no. what makes you think that uh, you want to get into DevOps and cloud if you have no experience in that area? Yes. So uh, this is why I have connected with you said, how can I get an entry in this role mm -hmm. within a short time, within a month, because I have read all the information for, I have watched the videos regarding the project, Docker, Kubernetes, Jenkins, and I have also a few informations about the Terraforms. So I just want to gain more information. Have you worked so on any project can... so far? Um, yes, uh, I have worked uh, last week. What kind on the last Docker. week? Yes, last week. Okay. And yes, uh, on what kind of yeah, project was, did you do? Yeah, it was a simple project for regarding the bank's applications, the bank's user. So Docker application was using by the Docker, Jenkins, and the Kubernetes. Okay. I just watched the simple videos and I just cloned the a link so from the GitHub. That is, that is my the, first advice because you are seeking advice. Like, yes. don't get that confidence or, or overconfidence that watching videos is learning okay it's a it's a waste of time watching a lot of just watching a lot of videos and assuming that you know devops and cloud we will we can okay. get into mock interviews and all those sort of thing but at your preparation level that you making that making you a uh, false confident that yes i am ready for it by watching videos you telling me that you have only worked 
last week on a simple project tells me that yes. there are a lot of gaps. Yes. Right? Absolutely right. So you studied but, AWS cloud? Yes, AWS. Are you certified on any of the AWS exam? Uh, no. Terraform Kubernetes certification? No, I did not uh, attend any certification. Are you aware? Let's, let's before you even go to uh, DevOps and cloud, are you aware of the agile process? Uh, not. Do you know how industry works or how pretty much every organization, they uh, distribute their workloads, how they work as a team? No. Uh, to be honest, I'm not aware about it. Okay. So um, uh, now since you work, maybe you don't have experience in that industry. That could be a reason, but there is, that's not an excuse that even at a okay. fresher level or somewhere, you need to be aware how most of the organization follow agile uh, methodology. Not knowing okay. it is a crime. Okay. So what is the agile methodology? So, so typically when uh, many years ago, the usual process used to be a, a SDLC was waterfall kind of thing where you would speak to your customer, get some requirements, spend a lot of time building a design solution, a design document or something. And then you would be developing it for three months, system testing, integration testing, all sort of thing. And it used to be very long process. Like usually projects would uh, on an average would be six months to one year to two years kind of projects. Even now there are longer projects, but everything gets divided into smaller activities and you do frequent release. If you don't understand okay. Agile, why frequent releases have to be done, why DevOps was needed to enable that kind of thing, that tells me that there are lots of gaps. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell me like what is DevOps? Uh, DevOps, it's a methodology to combine all the process at the time testing deployments uh, it can be done at the same time and we can reduce the time okay still not the professional answer but we'll move okay. on uh, what is aws well architected framework well architected framework um no i'm not aware about can you uh tell me like how would you secure an application in cloud any five different uh, approaches you would take to secure a web application in, in AWS? Yes, uh, we, we can secure with the help of Sonar Cube and Trivi tools. Okay. Yeah. That's one opportunity, right? Yeah. There are like, for example, if you have to secure your house, you have like uh, $1 million in your house. Uh, yes. How yes, would you also secure the that? OWASP, uh, applications OWASP. For example, you have $1 million at your house. How would you secure them? How would I secure them, my house? First of all, um, I will um, meet someone. What are the ways to protect my house? So, and I find some best solutions. What can I do? What those that? best solutions? So there are multiple solutions, right? You will have yes. multiple locks at your front door. Your every bedroom will have a lock. You will have probably buy a locker that cannot be broken into. You will put very complex password over there. Then maybe even if you put some cash, you will make sure other ways how you want to secure it. So you will secure at multiple levels. Just Thank saying you. that Sonar Cube and Trivi will secure me is not no Okay, that again, that is application level uh, stuff. What about infrastructure? In AWS, what will you do? AWS is just a servers. We can create a servers with the help of Terraform. Terraform is a kind of a script or coding. If you have really good knowledge, so you can easily automatically create all the servers and all the services with the help of Terraform. Correct. So Terraform will help us in security in any way? Yes, so we can give the instruction to install the OWASP, Sonar, Cube, or Trivi, and we can or it will be automatically installed on the server. Right, right. All right. So, uh, Kamran, I think we have we are done with the interview. Mm -hmm. We don't need a mock interview, to be frank. There are lots, yes, yes, lots, I do lots understand. of So I don't want yes, to, so, know, uh, because it goes to social media and all, I don't want to get into that, you know, humiliating kind of uh, thing. Yeah. Just I want to tell you that it's a, and it's not with you, like a lot of people think that, you know, they are ready for a job because they have spent, six, people have not only watched YouTube videos, they have done courses, basic courses from some institutes or some other places. Uh, they think that they are ready for a job, but that's not the case. Yeah. The market is very uh, competitive. Uh, people with a lot of certifications, a lot of projects, even experienced people are struggling to get a job. So uh, don't want to demotivate you, but your level is quite low right now. What you can do, yes. what you can do is make, first of all, prepare a good roadmap for you. 
roadmap that you can follow. Spend six months learning those things. Uh, there are a lot of, in, at your level, you need to understand why DevOps, why Agile, what tools are possible, how do you secure, uh, maybe go for some certification exam also with AWS, Terraform, Kubernetes, these certification exams also you target after six months. Uh, but first get a good understanding of not just process, not just like Jenkins, but why Jenkins, why other tools are not good. Uh, so that's what I also try to cover on YouTube channel. Look at some of my videos also. But at the same time, there is a roadmap video that we have published. So try to create a good roadmap for you. Understand why, why not of every tool, not just, uh, you know, that Trivi can do something or Sonar can do, or it will automatically install or in a security question, you're bringing Terraform. So they are not related in in, uh, in much aspect. So uh, try to build and follow that roadmap and then reduce the noise around it. Like uh, don't jump and don't change that roadmap very quickly. Somebody comes and tells you do Python for uh, six months and then you start doing Python. Somebody yeah. tells you, oh, you um, start doing shell scripting for three months and you start doing shell scripting or you spend uh, on Linux and get you to, took some courses and you keep doing that for two months. So don't do that. Identify what is required and how much is required and follow that. Do watch short videos of mine if possible, two minutes, three minutes videos or that and create a roadmap in two, three days. Spend two, three days to prepare a roadmap which you can follow for six months. Maybe validate it with uh, someone and uh, try to, you know, that this is what I'm going to follow. Two, three people say it's good. Uh, if you have a mentor, then that's good. Then get, get on to some certifications. And the third stage is doing complex projects. Basic projects are useless. Most of the projects that you see on YouTube and other places, they are prepackaged. So those entire Docker file is there. Kubernetes deployment files are ready for you. You have to connect to your Kubernetes cluster and deploy that file. So it automatically deploys and you are happy that yeah, you have deployed a Netflix uh, uh, clone in your environment. And the Netflix clone uh, deployment, look at the every file, what has gone behind that especially which are DevOps related. And then you can say that, yes, I have deployed a uh, clone of Netflix, not just uh, simply firing a command and then everything is packaged for you and it just deploys. Understand the uh, basics and understand the things behind that uh, that have gone. So build certain complex projects. Certifications will help you uh, quite a bit. So this is the roadmap I would suggest. Spend good six months. Don't get into mock interview. Don't even apply for one. You have a job, you are not, uh, you know, uh, like not having a job that that there's a pressure on you. So continue this job and spend a lot of time. Spend your weekends, spend your nights, find out two days, two hours on a working day, five hours on a weekday every day and spend next six months building all these skills, basics and question, what is the right purpose of a tool? Why not this tool? Why there are so many tools? What, are, what is the difference? Then you say, okay, there are five tools. Mm -hmm. Everything is, they sound similar. I need to do, find the best tool, which is used in the industry. And uh, I just want to clear one thing, if you are getting my voice, Sanjeev. So first, I need to understand the files, how to write the files in the dockers and why it is really important for the project yep. to understand the clear, right? Yep, you can say that. That's one of the aspect. Docker will be okay. one of the tool in that entire roadmap. Okay, if I'm reading correct, so it means that I have to write all the files from scratch to yes. end. Yes, you have to project. practice. If you don't have time, you think I probably won't be able to at least understand what, have, what how those things have been built. Okay, that's good. Right? Then only Definitely you will. Yeah, then, then so don't be overconfident by just doing some project which is prepackaged for you. Right. Yeah, I, I do understand. This is the, I'm not motivated by you. Yeah. This is the reality. This is the reality. I want to aware. Yes. I want to aware not just with you, with a lot of other people. Uh, they By doing something packaged. So, for example, yeah. ordering a pizza is not making pizza. Right? You try to bake your own pizza and you will understand how many challenges. It arrives at your home in 30 minutes. But it, there are a lot of challenges. The ingredients have to be ready. They have to be quality products. Yeah the entire process has to be understood, then the quality checks have to be done. That's the actual pizza delivery process and baking process, not, not making a phone call and what you have done or what projects people are pushing on YouTube, building a Netflix clone 
is a packaged product. You are just bringing it, heating it, and eating it. That's all you are doing. You are not cooking it. You need to understand the cooking behind it. Okay. I need to understand that how to prepare yes. with the ingredients and how to exactly. make him very good and attractive. Exactly. Okay. Thank and you so some much. of the projects try to, they will be difficult. There will be complex projects. Try to build them. I bring a lot of complex projects on this YouTube channel. So try to see if you want to register for them or or just take help from your mentors or have somebody. And I just want to clear one thing, sir, because I have seen many videos on the YouTube. Um, there's also the DevSecOps video and there's also the DevOps video. So I need to work on the DevSecOps or just work on the easy uh, Dockers and Jenkins or Kubernetes Simples project with the help of Terraform. Yeah. Correct. So, which one I need to choose for first one DevOps and DevSecOps or DevOps. simple DevOps? Simple DevOps, DevOps, DevSecOps project, project number one you can pick and practice that. But after some time, after some time, after you okay. have good uh, understanding of DevOps and cloud, then you pick up those projects. I think there are okay. still gaps in your learning also. Okay, thank you so much for giving the good guidance. No worries. I'm so happy. Spend some six months. There is no issue. You have jobs, so there is no pressure on you. Spend next few months learning. Make sure you are doing fast. Don't waste time. Prepare that roadmap in the next two, three days that within Docker or within Linux, within Git, what should I do? Uh, those topic, at least have a topic level understanding also that it's not that a roadmap is just the name of the tool. Within that, what you plan to do? You will be learning for 10 days. You will be practicing with uh, certain files for next 10 days. That's how you will call a tool as done. Again. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Uh, we thought of doing a mock, but I think uh, it's fine. We had a good conversation. No, and this is, I just want to clear these all the things yeah. because I am not aware about it. How can I get it to this? Yeah. This yeah. is why I just want to connect with you. No worries. All right. Best of luck. And uh, we can connect in a few months. Okay, definitely I will connect you in, in a few months, not uh, within a few weeks with the good information and you will be happy, definitely. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right. Okay. Take care. So just to confirm that the conversation will be uploaded on the YouTube from your side or no? This, week, this one, this recording? Yes. This gets uploaded, yes, for everybody's feedback and for everybody to learn.